Hello, my friends. Today is a very special day because one, it is Kai's birthday, and two, I'm gonna show you how to make pumpkin waffles, and they are super delicious. It's kind of based off my carnivore waffles because I'm gonna start with ground chicken. Now, I just sauteed this up, and you can use eight ounces of ground chicken and eight ounces of ground beef if you want to, and you can use the extra, lar <laughs> extra lean stuff, and it could be a protein sparing waffle if you want it to be, but... Today, we're gonna to use whole eggs instead of egg whites and stuff like that. You shouldn't do a protein sparing day every day anyway. That is only one to three days a week. Okay, if you wanna learn more on that, we have plenty of videos on that. Then I'm gonna add nine eggs into this blender. That's what I like the, about this is just, I get everything into the blender and I don't have to clean a bunch of dishes. The blender is all that I have to clean. Super fun to make these. And I like to make sometimes a triple batch and I'll store them in the freezer. So when I'm gone and traveling, um, all you have to do is heat the uh, waffle maker back up. I think it's off. Oh man, turn that off. Bummer. Okay. And then you can just heat them back up in the waffle iron and you get a nice crispy waffle and make some fried eggs with it or whatever. And today we are gonna make pumpkin ones. So we're going to feature, for their food, pumpkin collagen. I don't even love pumpkin stuff. Their collagen, their pumpkin collagen is really, it's just like the perfect spice. It's delicious. And Kai loves it when I make my hard-boiled egg pudding with it. Super yummy. So we're going to add three scoops of the further food pumpkin collagen. And you can make it with their hazelnut collagen or their chocolate if you want a different flavor. We're gonna do three scoops of this. And they're so generous that if you use code MariaMindBody, you save on every order, not just your first order. And the secret ingredient is their gelatin in these waffles. So that helps um, make a nice chewy texture because without the gluten, you're gonna miss that chewy texture. We're gonna add a tablespoon of that, okay. I love this big thing, it lasts me a long time. And then I'm gonna add some baking powder. Two teaspoons of that. I don't know if I have two teaspoons in here. All right, I'm gonna have to go find some more. Cut. Okay, and I found another <laughs> container, thank goodness. So we're gonna add like one and a half teaspoons there. Cause I got about a half a teaspoon out of this one. All right, so then we're gonna add some salt. Don't forget your salt, it's a flavor enhancer. And I know this sounds like super weird, but this just turns out to be a delicious waffle. So we're gonna blend these up and get them made. Okay, now that they're all blended up, you're gonna wait till this is totally hot and you're gonna wanna use some like avocado oil spray and spray both sides. We'll get this one too. This is a nice double one, so I can make up lots of them at one time. And now we're gonna make sure this is all nice and set. I don't know if Kai wants to do a taste test on his birthday, but everybody loves it. I just got done speaking in Connecticut at the Keto Symposium. You guys should come next year, it's awesome. And then you could go to uh, Sleepy Hollow and see all the pumpkins and stuff. Um, but they all said they wish Kai was there for my cooking demo to help out. So I'm gonna fast forward this, you don't have to wait, but these are gonna be yummy. Okay, friends, we will check to see if they're done. Maybe not quite yet. And a splattering on me. Ooh, this one turned out interesting. I feel like, ouch. Careful when you remove them. Ta-da, these perfect waffles, right? So I'm gonna just keep on making some more and then I'm gonna show you how to make, where'd that go? Here it is. Um, you all know that Kai loves whipped cream. And so I'm gonna show you how to make this whipped cream canister so you can spray that on top. There we go. Maybe I'll fill a little bit more because it didn't fill it like I would think it would. Sometimes it expands so much it's like ridiculous, spilling all over the place. This one did not. Ouch. It's like splattering on me. Ouch. I know, be careful, right? <laughs> so at the symposium I was cooking and I was using a blender and it wasn't blending like I wanted it to, so it's a nice crispy outside. 
And so I was gonna stick a fork in there while the blender was running and they're like, don't do that. So I didn't. Okay, so fill this. And we'll move this aside. And for the whipped cream canister, now I've had many different ones. You can get a really cheap one on Amazon or wherever you get it from. Those broke on me all the time. So then I invested in a good one. It's over $100, but we use it <laughs> almost every day. So I'm gonna get some cream out and we're gonna put this together. Okay, so now we have our cream and I am going to put it up to the fill line, which is right here. You don't wanna go past that. That's the maximum line and it says it on there. And once I fill that up, I'm just gonna put, oh, it's a little bit too full, shoot. Just put it right back in here. All the cream pretty much goes into the whipped cream canister anyway, so. And then I'm gonna sweeten it up with a little bit of stevia glycerate, which is a non-bitter stevia. I'm gonna check on the waffles. See how they're doing. Ooh, perfect. Take them out. Put some more in. And I made the carnivore bagels at, oh, I'm on the spray. Hey, Kai, can you get more spray? Kai, I need more of this. It's in the pantry. And uh, I made the bagels. And uh, that was uh, interesting. <laughs> we had like this tiny little oven. I wish we had a waffle maker. That would have been way easier. But yeah, ta-da. I'll fill that once we get more spray. That's ah, still a little bit too heavy. Thank you, my friend. Can you open it up? I got it. There we go. This is our new bottle. Okay. All right. There we go. And now, every canister has a different um, cartridge. So you want to make sure you get the right cartridge for your uh, whipped cream canister thing. So I'm going to put this on pretty nice and tight. And then this is where the, who put that on? The canister goes. There we go. So I'll put a new one on because that cartridge was used yesterday. And if you don't hear this sound, just a second. That means that the air is nice and tight in there. So then you just want to shake it up and Kai will use it for when he does his taste test. So pumpkin waffles with cream, yum. Happy birthday, Kai. We got some birthday waffles for you. Here's yep. your cream. Why don't you tell Ooh. us what they are, one through 10. Did you shake it up at all? So sometimes if you don't shake it good enough, what happens, Kai? It's runny. It's runny, it's all like soupy, which still tastes good, right? Yeah. But it's not the same. That's probably good. Okay. Ooh, that's perfect. There we go. Ooh. So tell us, based on the waffle, not the cream. It's okay, you can have some cream too. But we want to know what the waffle is, one through ten. <laughs> we know that you like the cream. Yeah, you can put some cream on there. Can you taste the pumpkin? Yeah. One it's through good. Ten. Yeah, one through ten. Uh, I'll rate it a seven. Oh. Right, right. Put together? Together? <laughs> what is it with together? I mean, a waffle? Yeah, I kind of want something with it. I'll rate it a nine. A nine? All right, my friends. That's, that's better. So this is what we're going to do for breakfast. We have a waffle and three bubble eggs. You dip that right in there. And then we have our vitamins, too. So bon appetito. What do you want to tell kid, people, Kai? Cook with your kids. Cook with your kids. And... Let's wish Kai a happy birthday, everybody. Comment below and tell him how awesome he is. Bye. Bye. Mahalo. When I was 16 years old, I was diagnosed with PCOS, acid reflux, depression, and IBS. Instead of taking those prescription drugs, I decided to change my life with food. Yes, food healed me, and it's healed so many of my clients over the past 20 years of working with people. If you are interested in transforming your life, check out ketomaria.com. I'd be honored to help you.